Well, it is now time for us to decide what is the WTF moment of 2019. And let me say, narrowing this down to just four nominees was almost impossible um, because there were so many moments in this year that are just unbelievably WTF. So before I get to my official nominations, I want to go to the honorable mentions. That includes Dianne Feinstein's confrontation with the Sunrise Movement, where she basically told little kids to fuck off. Uh, there's Fartgate. There's John Hickenlooper explaining how he took his mom to see Deep Throat. Trump vetoed a bill that would have saved thousands of lives by ending U.S. support to Saudi Arabia as they carry out a genocide in Yemen. There is Jeffrey Epstein's sudden death. Amy Klobuchar ate salad with a comb and then screamed at an aide. Uh, there was the attempted coup in Venezuela, Turkey's ethnic cleansing of the Kurds, Modi's crackdown in Kashmir, billionaires trying to buy the Democratic nomination. Almost all of these in and of themselves can win, not just because they're, you know, bad for the world or the country, but because they're also so weird that I think they really represent that WTF title well. But ultimately, I decided on four, and this was tough, but these are my nominations. Jeremy Corbyn and Labour's defeat in the UK general election, Donald Trump almost bombing Iran, I mean, just being literally minutes away from war with Iran was a terrifying thought. The successful coup of Bolivian President Evo Morales and the burning of the Amazon rainforest known as the Earth's lungs. Just thinking about all of these things really makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, it, it makes me feel upset. And whichever one of these ultimately ends up winning, I think it's a worthy title. Um, as I said, all of these honorable mentions, like any of these, are, I think, worthy enough of being WTF Moment of the Year. But I pass this question off to you. You all voted, and these are the results. So on Patreon, with 77 total votes, Jeremy Corbyn and Labour's defeat got 32%. Trump almost bombing Iran got 12%, the Bolivian coup got 16%, and the burning of the Amazon rainforest got 40%. And on YouTube, with a total of 15,000 votes, Jeremy Corbyn and Labour's defeat got 30%, Trump almost bombing Iran got 12%, the Bolivian coup got 15%, and the burning of the Amazon rainforest got 43%. Now on Twitter, with 868 total votes, Jeremy Corbyn and Labour's defeat got 36%. Trump almost bombing Iran got 10%. The Bolivian coup got 25%. And the burning of the Amazon rainforest got 29%. Now when you look at the total results across all three platforms, in fourth place is the fact that Donald Trump almost bombed Iran, which I think is understandable because it didn't happen. Still a scary prospect nonetheless. I'm glad that that didn't happen. In third, you have the Bolivian coup. In second, you have Corbyn's defeat. And in first place, the WTF moment of the year, according to the Humanist Report audience, is the burning of the Amazon rainforest. And this is absolutely worthy of that title because the Amazon rainforest is largely described as the Earth's lungs for good reason. And I think that this is important to a lot of people because it's a symbol of how far we've gone down the road, you know, towards environmental degradation, where we're burning the Amazon rainforest deliberately. This wasn't, you know, something that happened accidentally. This was sabotage. And on top of that, when you factor in Jair Bolsonaro's response, when, you know, people around the world, France and whatnot, wanted to help, it makes it that much more just strange all around. But that's my thoughts. Here's what you all think about this. Jason Counselor on Patreon writes, as the burning of the rainforest pushes us closer to an extinction level event, for me, that's definitely the biggest WTF moment of 2019. Manda on Twitter writes, having to choose this is the worst. KJ on Twitter writes, I can't. All are so WTF. Dick Dak on Twitter recommends another WTF moment that I didn't nominate. Trump pardoned war criminals and revoked a rule on reporting drone strike deaths. Absolutely worthy of being 
WTF moment of the year. There, there's just so many, it was difficult to even remember them all. John on YouTube writes, they are all WTF moments, but the biggest WTF moment was how the media either didn't cover them properly or just covered the impact of them up. Maury on YouTube writes, can we just nominate the whole year as a WTF moment? Lorian on YouTube writes, the series finale of Humanity has been wild. <laughs> Mark Murphy on YouTube writes, the Turkish ethnic cleansing of the Kurds should be on the actual list. I think this is, you know, certainly fair. Clement on YouTube writes, you really need to add an option 2019 itself entirely. Yeah, I think that that is fair. Um, this whole year has, you know, produced a lot of moments that made me scratch my head, question humanity, um, feel demoralized. It's just been a relatively rough year politically. Um, but I mean, it could always be worse. Let's just hope that, you know, 2020 will produce a lot less WTF moments. So that way this, you know, part of the award process next year will be a little bit easier because this really was difficult as a lot of the people commented suggested, you know, you can swap out those four nominees that I chose with others. And it would be, I think, just as compelling, you know, in terms of choosing which moment is the WTF moment of the year. So this was really, really tough. Um, and I'm ready to move on because I don't want to think about all these horrible things that have happened in uh, the year on top of all the weird things that have happened, you know, with John Hickenlooper taking his mom to see Deep Throat and then talking about that and Amy Klobuchar eating salad with a comb, Fartgate. I mean, what a weird year. So many WTF moments. Yeah, but overall, I think, you know, we can all acknowledge why the viewers chose the burning of the Amazon rainforest. It's depressing, it's disgusting, and we need to take better care of the planet. I don't know what else to say, so I'll leave that there.